Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. The other day, the other day, the last video I uploaded was covering would Gal Gadot being in James Gunn's new DCU be a big mistake? Now this all came about because Gal Gadot said that she's going to be doing Wonder Woman with James Gunn and Pierre Safran. There's a couple of quotes out there, but the most recent one that I haven't covered puts it even heavier on the nose by saying, I was invited to a meeting with James Gunn and Pierre Safran and what they told me, and I'm quoting, you're in the best hands. We're going to develop Wonder Woman 3 with you. We love you as Wonder Woman. You've got nothing to worry about. What she's saying is quite the bold claim again and again. A lot of people were thinking, what if Gal's got the wrong impression? Well, we'll come back to this in a minute because I do think it's very important to break down why I think this is messy. Now, all of this is coming up because of this new Variety article, quite literally titled, Wonder Woman 3 won't fly in the new DC Universe despite Gal Gadot teasing development plans. Exclusive. Now, let me first get my thoughts on Variety out there. Yes, they're a major trade. They are. I can't deny it. They do have, as a result of being a major trade, connections, sources, tools, and resources. I didn't even mean to make that rhyme, but either way, yes, they do put out credible stuff, but at the same time, when it comes to their track record for the DC Universe history, do you remember that time when they apparently had a well-placed source that tells Variety that James Gunn and Peter Safran were exploring the possibility of incorporating Matt Reeves and Pattinson's Batman into their wider new DCU, and Gunn completely shut that down, literally saying he needs to get a new source. This is entirely untrue. So they weren't even exploring that possibility. It was like, no. Also, in another story, Variety Variety claimed that there wouldn't be any Wonder Woman in the first three years of the DCU at all. And this is where Gunn quite literally replied because fans wanted him to debunk it. And he, say, he literally said, I hereby debunk it only because it's not true. So once again, another Variety story debunked. Don't misconstrue this as to me saying, oh, is this you saying that Gal Gadot is, is right and she is playing Wonder Woman? That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is I still think if you read between the lines, even if she's not going to play Wonder Woman, I think things were said. So with that being said about Variety, let's read what they've got to say. And this is like a really juicy article in of itself that I can say a million things about. So this video is probably gonna be quite a bit of a ramble. So sit back, get a drink, Get some popcorn, if you will. I, I don't know. So despite recent comments from Gal Gadot claiming DC heads James Gunn and Peter Safran told her they would develop Wonder Woman 3 together, sources... Well, play sources. Sources, I'm joking. Sources with knowledge of the situation tell Variety that this is not the case. According to the sources, a third Wonder Woman film is not in development at DC Studios, nor do Gunn and Safran have plans at this time for any Wonder Woman project in the new DC universe other than their previously announced Paradise Lost prequel series for Max. It's interesting that they say that in that paragraph when I bring up this tweet again from Gunn where Variety had previously reported that Wonder Woman will not be appearing in the first three years of the, of the DCU at all. And also they go and say there's no plans in that article that I'm talking about right now back then. They're saying that there's no plans as well. Basically what they're saying in this new one. And Gunn replied back then, January, saying, I hereby debunk that. No, there will be plans for her, and possibly even in the first three years. So now Variety is still saying that there are plans, even though Gunn debunked that. They're being pretty insistent about it. That's something to bear in mind. Now, this is when Variety go over the quotes by saying Godot first suggested that Wonder Woman 3 might not be fully dead in an interview with comicbook.com. This isn't like, oh, I heard it through the grapevine. I'm an actor and I heard it from an agent who heard from this person and that publicist, blah, blah, blah. She had a meeting with them. I've got the screenshot to back that up. Gunn has confirmed it. Now, sure, you could still say to me they had that meeting. They didn't actually say anything definitive to her, but we'll get back into that one in a second. Second, the sources added to Variety that nothing was ever promised to Godot regarding Wonder Woman 3, nor was there any definitive discussion of Godot's Wonder Woman continuing with the new DC Universe. So what we have right now is that sources, or what has been called before from Variety, well-placed sources, are claiming that this is not true. So is she just flat out lying there? Is she flat out lying? I actually don't think so. And and, and this isn't like, a, oh, you're, you're looking too deep into it, but I'm not. I genuinely think, and I've said this from the beginning, whether Wonder Woman 3 is happening or not, even though I said, and I stand by it, the evidence did point towards, believe it or not, 
it actually looks like it could be happening, that they could have still changed their minds along the way, which is a bit of a eh, thing to do because this is embarrassing in of itself, whether that's on Godot's side, Gun's side, or just DC in general. The whole will it happen, won't it happen, this kind of thing isn't good because this is what's been happening with like Henry Cavill in the past. Will he or won't he? Will Ben Affleck? Will he or won't he? It's like the same shite again and again and again. But the difference with this one, the reason why I'm telling you right now, why I, I think that she's not straight up lying there, believe it or not, is because of what I went over in the video the other day. Now, I'm not going to completely go and repeat myself from the other video, but he has said things in replies to people when specifically being asked about Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot. So I'm not sure where you're getting that we booted Gal. A, a, a fan said to him, like, why did you boot Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot? Like, and not, you know, Ezra Miller, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, the only thing you reply to there, I'm not sure where you're getting that we booted Gal. Like, I'm not going to answer the Henry thing because, you know, we kind of did and I'm not going to answer the Ezra thing. But one thing I will give you as a clue, I'm not sure where you're getting that we booted Gal Gadot. What could that mean? What could that infer? Next screenshot. When a fan is specifically talking about Henry Cavill again, Ezra Miller and Wonder Woman. This one's one of the, and if not the most interesting one to me. We didn't let Gal go. Ezra's movie is already made. As I've said before, he's basically saying that I'm not confirming nor denying if we're keeping Ezra. Just don't state to me that I've kept Ezra on because the movie's already made. It does That doesn't mean I've kept Ezra on. Does that make sense? It just means the movie's already made. And then the last thing he says is, Henry doesn't fit what I have for Superman. So in my opinion here, this is what I mean by Gunn kind of maybe shooting himself in the foot with his transparency and how in Gal Gadot's defense, there is evidence out there for Gunn kind of low-key backing up what she's been saying in the past few days. And this could be why he hasn't responded, by the way. I'm going to get into that as well. I think there's a huge difference in this screenshot you're seeing on screen right now. When you say, Henry doesn't fit what I have for Superman, in the same comment reply as saying, we didn't let Gull go. So to get to the bottom line, the brass tacks of this is that if they didn't want her as Wonder Woman at the time, wouldn't it have made sense in this reply, on top of the other replies, but in this one in particular, that Gull and Henry doesn't fit what I have for Wonder Woman and Superman. Instead, he listed them as separate things. He literally says, we didn't let Gal go. Ezra's movie is already made. It's a, That's just in its own thing. And Henry doesn't fit what I have for Superman. Why not, if you're not keeping Gal Gadot on as Wonder Woman, would you not say, Henry and Gal doesn't fit what I have for Superman and Wonder Woman? Two separate things. Do you, I know I'm rubbing that in, but do you see my point? Again, in combination with the other screenshots, this is why... I do feel there is some credence to what Gal Gadot was saying. Let me put this into another perspective here. If Gunn didn't tweet any of this stuff out that he has, basically inferring that Gal wasn't really going anywhere and she was staying on in some capacity, and it seemed to be Wonder Woman in the way I just broke that down, and there was none of these screenshots, he barely ever replied like most studio heads don't, right? And Gal was just saying this, then maybe I would be more on board with a lot of people saying, ah. Oh, Maybe she got that impression, but like, uh, you know, I definitely am not sure if I believe it kind of thing. But this is very unique. You have the co-head of the studio saying all of these things over the past few months. I do think this one isn't, let's just say, equivalent to the Henry Cavill situation. I'm seeing a lot of people say stuff like that. The difference between the Henry Cavill situation and him announcing his return officially, which is technically going even further than what Gal Gadot said, close, but he was being told by like Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi of the old regime that, hey, yeah, 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 you're coming back. Come, you know, come back, announce your return. But then Gunn and Saffron came in and they didn't, you know, they weren't interested in keeping him as Superman. That wasn't Gunn's vision. Now here, Gunn and Saffron were already in this new DCU regime, this new DC Studios. They then had a meeting, screenshot, appearing on screen right now. She got that impression, pretty definitive impression from the conversations they've had. You then tie in the screenshots and replies that Gunn gave to people over the months after the meeting. And it did seem to point to what Gull is saying recently as maybe being true. So that is why this whole situation is messy to me. And this is why I don't really blame Gull for like almost, well, saying what she kind of did. If she had a meeting and she got that impression, that's paired with all of these screenshots of Gunn replying to fans, very separately listing Cavill as not what his vision is for Superman, but still saying you're keeping on Gal Gadot. If I'm collecting evidence and being as objective as I can be, 
then it does kind of infer that you might be keeping her on. And let me get this clear. I've always wanted a recast. If you're recasting two thirds of the Trinity, recast Wonder Woman. So low key, this is a W for me. Like I do kind of want this. I know some of you, believe it or not, yes, all of you out there, some of you want Gal Gadot to continue as Wonder Woman. So I'm sorry that this looks like that might not be the case. But why isn't James Gunn talking about this? This is astonishing to me and this makes things more fascinating. Because A, the reason why I find that intriguing is because Gunn always, well, at least he used to, be very transparent with things like this. He would debunk things from even smaller outlets. And most recently he's piped down a little bit because he doesn't want to always respond to things. And that was some people's criticism saying co-studio head like him shouldn't be involving himself so much with things like this. But I was grateful for it because there were some things like the Batman thing, by the way, like I pointed out earlier from Variety. If he didn't debunk that, I would keep having people tell me all the time in all of my The Batman videos that he could be in the DCU. Do you know how relieving that is that I've got the co-head of DC Studios shutting that down? So, he has still been talking a bit, but not so much on Twitter, but on Blue Sky, Instagram threads, etc. And he has been debunking or like normally reserves his comments now for the biggest things. And when a story like this, Gal Gadot was going around, maybe just from her, you could argue maybe, like I still argue he would reply to that maybe, but like the fact that it's got to a major trade now talking about it, outlets re then recycle it and it's everywhere. Still not a peep out of gun. As of when I'm making this video, I want to make that clear. There could be a response typically by the time I upload this video, but I'm still going to upload this anyway just to give you my take as of right now. But... I still think it's weird, even if he does issue a response, where is it right now? Why isn't it out already? He would have spoken about this. Now, let's get into why. I think that's because he has gotten himself into maybe a bit of a pickle here. I think that A, he didn't want to just quote tweet some of these news articles with legit quotes from Gal Gadot saying what she said about Peter Safran and James Gunn reassuring her that she would play Wonder Woman. He didn't want to quote tweet that and saying... Oh, I know Gal Gadot is saying this, but uh, this is absolutely bullshit, you know? And that would kind of embarrass her. It'd make things awkward again. And I say again because do you remember when he said that Ben Affleck was going to be helping out in the architectural stage of the DCU, maybe directing something, and then there was like a deadline article with Affleck, not directly responding to that, but basically he went into how he's not really going to have anything to do with the new DCU, which seems to completely contradict what Gunn said. So maybe he's just trying to avoid... Basically, writing a tweet saying Gal Gadot is full of crap. Anything saying no towards it would basically be calling her an outright liar. Having said that, though, I do wonder who these sources are. Because if Gunn, winding back the clocks to like a minute and a half ago, didn't want to initially talk about this directly responding to Gal Gadot through social media, what could he do? Who could these sources really be if James Gunn claims, as he has in the past, that nobody knows jack shite about anything going on other than me and Peter Safran? Well, a way to kind of get it out there in the world without you directly saying it to everyone, and I do want to stress that this is speculation. I'm not saying Gunn is, has done this, but it does. It's, just, it's a theory, okay? If Gunn doesn't want to embarrass Gal through directly replying, hey guys, I, I know it's been out there that Gal said this. If he doesn't want to take that route, what could he do? He could do a studio leak to the press and get them to say that sources are saying this just isn't true. Yeah, maybe there was a meeting, like in the story, but there was no definitive discussions. There was no guarantee. And I think that could be the way they're choosing to handle it, maybe. And whether that's true or not, my theory there, now it gives Gunn the ability to just quote tweet that article and say something like maybe, you know, hey guys, uh, you know, love Gal Gadot, loved her as Wonder Woman, but... Um, you know, uh, maybe, I don't know if he'd word it like this, but similar to Henry, you know, not fitting what I, I have for Superman, Gal Gadot is amazing and as incredible as she is, I'm sure he'd word it like that, uh, she's not going to be in our vision for the DCU. And if he does something like that, though, I will bring up this screenshot. Because, guys, like, I, I do feel like I'm onto something here, and I'll get onto what I really mean by that in a second, is when he says, we didn't let Gal go. Henry doesn't fit what I have for Superman. Why not say Henry and Gal doesn't fit what I have for Wonder Woman and Superman if that's what you might now say in, in, in present day? Why would that be? Well, he may have said this back then because, well, back then, as maybe some of you are guessing, and this is my theory, maybe they were actually entertaining keeping her on. But guess what? 
And I've said this ever since this rumor came out, that even though the evidence points to this being true, that she could be in the DCU, I still think there's a possibility that even though the evidence points there, during the time span from when, you know, Gunn came in, these comments were being made earlier this year, he could have changed his mind. So it's kind of awkward for him. He doesn't want to shut her down on social media. He doesn't want to directly respond like that. He's also deleted one of these screenshots, by the way. And yes, it is a real screenshot. You have plenty of people replying to what he said. The deleted reply, if that makes sense. That's interesting. I think he could have changed his mind, which has put him in a bit of a pickle, maybe. The fact that he's been completely silent until now, the major trades uh, are talking about it. Again, if there's a quote by the time I upload this video, I do think his response will be quote tweeting something like the Variety article, saying something similar to what I said, that she just, you know, love her, respect her, uh, will always have a future opportunity for her, like he said with Henry Cavill in the DCU, but she does not fit the vision like Hen Something like that. Something like that. But what he said in the past several months, like several months ago or so, kind of went against that. So in conclusion, guys, I do think this is messy. And I hope that some of you have watched this point in the video to kind of really understand where I'm coming from. I didn't want to just throw Gal Gadot under the bus and just be like, oh yeah, you know, she's an actor. She's just trying to, you know, try and stay on like some people were saying and adding in the evidence that we've all seen or that I've now presented to you over the past few months and everything like that. I do think it's maybe a change of mind if variety is true. I say if because given the evidence I've given about Variety before, with Gunn literally debunking them multiple times, you, you could still argue, technically, Gal Gadot could be Wonder Woman, but I do have the instinctual feeling that she might not be. She probably won't be. And as of when this video stands, as of when I'm currently making and uploading it, absolutely bloody fascinating to me that of all things, out of all things, Gunn hasn't replied. He would have replied to this, which is, you know, I think maybe supporting, in my opinion, this is total speculation, my opinion, what I've kind of dived into with this low-key, like, under reading between the lines investigation here. I think it was a bit awkward for him to do so. I think maybe he did say a couple of things. Yeah, I don't think anything was downright promised, so maybe things were kind of leaked. Like, if you wanted to handle this, and, like, he, he is their co-head of DC Studios, they would be talking about this, him and uh, Peter Safran. Possibly he's even rung up Gal Gadot by now, I don't know. But what's one thing you can do? This is our new DC universe, we don't want a, a repeat of the previous press for the previous universe. Oh, this person's gonna be Batman, oh, they're not gonna be Batman, oh, Henry Cavill's gonna be back, oh, he's not gonna be back, this, that, and the other all the time, right? What's one thing you can do to remedy that situation? Hey, let's kind of tell something to the press. Let's kind of say to them, we do not want to be named. Just, you're getting this information. Look, here's a story for you. You can call them well-placed sources, whatever you want to call them, but let's get this out there that this is false, that insiders from DC Studios are saying this. That's one way they can do it without him literally publicly saying, ha, hey, you're full of shit, girl. <laughs> I may have said that to you, but I'm saying right now you're full of crap. That's one way to do it. And it could still be it, by the way, if he does still reply after this video. He just might have an easier way to talk about it now, given that the variety story is out there. Do you know what I mean? For this one, I will say, and I think I said it earlier, that she probably isn't Wonder Woman. Um, so this is kind of a good thing because I think a lot of us could agree in the video that I did the other day about Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman that we can kind of look past characters, even though people like to criticize that a lot, and I understand why that gun is keeping a lot of the people he's familiar with, um, you know, working, like the Peacemaker crew, etc, etc. They're not nearly as popular or like the main faces of the previous universe. Henry Cavill is, Ben Affleck was, and um, Gal Gadot was as well. So only keeping one of those on for optics, most people here, from what I'm seeing from takes everywhere, most people, I would go as far as saying 80%. 20% of you who say otherwise is still quite a chunk, but 80% are saying, yeah, optics-wise, even though this is a soft reboot, let's give the impression of, like, the main characters being recasted so it gives it a bit more of a fresher feel. So I'm still in favor of that. Looks like it's happening. Variety is claiming that. Gun has said, sweet f*** all. So <laughs> we're going to have to wait and see, ultimately, for the major bottom line clarification. And I do think that will inevitably come. Like, from now to the end of time, Gunn will say something about this someone. 
just depends when. Maybe by the time I bloody upload this video. That's my luck as usual. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts. Like the video if you did enjoy it. I deeply appreciate that. Check out my previous videos. I did a top 10 of my most anticipated projects in the DCU that are upcoming. So check that out. Give me your own top 10. But until next time, ladies and gents, I'll see you in the stream on Sunday, maybe. Uh, and I <laughs> hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you people of the DCU in the next video. Goodbye.